preparing is really important. Here you can see all the tools what you need for this long hair design. Hello, today I'm going to teach you a beautiful evening look what can be their wedding look as well. First I explain the sectioning. I have done vertical section behind the ear and then on the behind two centimeters above those typical bones and I have position ponytails on the nape. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pack home this section. I make a pack homing under and the surface have to stay clean. So don't push the teeth of the comb through the section. Just under. Then I'm going to distribute it for upwards. I use a rubber band and two hair pins and block it on the one side and then from the other side. So it stays really well. So this is really, really easy way to make a loop for the nape. In this case, I apply a filler so it comes more stronger. Preparing is really important and check the color what fits for the color of the client. I'm going to put the three hairpins from the higher part and three ponytails from below. On the way that for sure it stays on its place. Then I'm going to make it wider without taking off the pack combing. I make it wider. And hair pins doesn't need I this this time I'm going to just twist it and turn it inside and fix it with the hairpin under that sink from the filler and the hairline's hair from right to left and left to right without touching to the sides so you can still make it more bigger let's make the hairspray and then this movement small nice movement without creating a holes the surface from the loop have to be clean and nice without any holes or wrong distribution. Use the U-pins on the sides so you can be sure that it stays there. Let's put the hairspray. This is kind of base where I distribute all the other hair, hair lengths from behind. Now I have to make a sectioning. I will have one rectangle base on the center and two triangles on the sides. I'm going to create uh, overlapping techniques and loops. So let's make all the hair away. It doesn't disturb us. And start it from the rectangle base. I distribute it downward, I separate it one third and two third. Nina's nice hair color makes a nice effect for the texture. This loop is dual dimensional without height, so it's kind of flat pink curls. Let's make the second one under that one. It's better to have a bigger diameter on that loop. Fix it well, always parallel with the hair color. Now we have a filler, so it stays really well. So fix it to the filler. Then we take one side and we put it over the center section. So we have an overlapping, this goes right and this goes left. Not too tight. So we can still have a little bit baby effect and soft effect for this feminine abdus. Let's make three fingers, two fingers, one fingers, and we have a three diameters. 
on that flap. Pin curls without any height. Then let's concentrate for the last triangle section. From left it goes to the right side. From left it goes to the uh, opposite direction. Let's put the shiny spray. To be sure that all the directions are fine. And now I make a clockwise direction these pin curls, which is two dimensional without any height. And I pluck it, fix it uh, with as many as I ever need. You pins are fine to keep this light section. Okay, that's the way how it looks from the back. Let's go on forward. Step number three. I'm going to separate without creating any uh, parting lines, just light, soft section, diagonal forward, twisting, and with the charm and index finger, I'm going to make an interesting texture for this twisted section. On this design, I use overlapping, loop, and twisting techniques. This is the way how we can keep it really, really feminine, beautiful, a beautiful lady like Nina. Then it's fine to leave some free section so it comes more softer, more romantic. And later on, All the details I can do with the curling iron. Following the form, texture and color. Let's turn to the other side. On the left side, the same thing. I'm going to twist the section and leave the wavy effect so I can't use too much power. Twisting. I keep this twisted section on the top so this nice texture, which is really light, stays on the higher part of this design. This one I'm going to fix with the U-pins. Remember to pin it inside on the way that we can't see that. The U-pins are not good to see. The second one really, really light, controlling the hair. Twisting and working with your thumb and index finger, push it so we can create a really, really nice softer effect. It's kind of ornamentation. Blonde hair, it looks like an ornament. Anyway, let's apply some other ornaments too. Small little things. The last one, please control the length, what stays from the right, from the back. And enough free lengths, what stays there and covers the face. So it's still soft and really, really feminine. Feminine, feminine, beautiful. Total look, form, texture and color. Fix it with the same color of U-pins. And then a hairspray. For sure when we have a difference different colors, so the color elements gives us a big help. Now we put the little flowers. Remember that at the same time, when you put the ornaments, you can use it to fix the design. So don't just put it all over. Think about 
how to make it even more steady and more better. So all the directions it fixed with the ornaments or with the U-pins. Sometimes hairspray for the lighter sections is enough. Alright, here we are. Really, really romantic. Feminine, feminine effect. Loop, overlapping and twisting techniques. So just go for it! 